Well, I just got out of a doctor, so I figured, why not do this video in the car, in the parking lot, since it's nice out. This is going to be short anyway, but ended up watching, finally, for some reason, I always do this, same with Jeepers Creepers 3, and then Reborn, same with uh, Return to Sleepaway Camp, and there we go, mic was down. I always end up going back and watching movies that are part of franchises that I love after hearing nothing but terrible things about the new installment or remake, whatever, and then I finally go back and see it, and I'm fucking disappointed always. So Slumber Party Massacre 2021 from two years ago, a little less than a year and a half, I think it came out in September or something like that, right on sci-fi, so sci-fi movie. I love the Slumber Party Massacre movies. All three of them adore them. Slumber Party Massacre 2 was my favorite, but I love the first two. The third one's all right. It's decent. Still terrible in a lot of ways. So this was a remake. Now, when I saw this, I saw that they added it to Shudder or something like that recently, like last week. So I woke up. It was like 5 in the morning. I smoked. And then I watched it, turned it on. And right away, you see, like, I'm going to try to do non spoilers as much as possible, but there's nothing really to spoil here. You see the age of the actresses and stuff, and you said, yeah, this is, there's going to be no nudity and stuff in here, which is a huge thing with the Slumber Party Massacre movies. Like in the first one, when we have that gratuit gratuitous scene of nudity just for minutes on end, with all the girls lathering themselves in the shower. We're not getting any of that with this, like, because then there's this girl sister who ends up, like, tagging along for this, like, vacation that they're going to, this cabin or some place that the events of the original massacre took place, and they go there for a reason, I'll just say that, but the girl's younger sister pops out, and she's, like, 14, 15, <laughs> and everything about this movie was absolutely atrocious. Let me just get that out of the way real quick. Atrocious in every way, unless you look at this movie as an over-the-top, balls-to-the-wall parody. Like, it, if you look at this as a parody, and it's hard not to. Like, I'm pretty sure they meant this as a parody. If they didn't, awful. All across the board, that's all you have to know. Don't even waste your time. But if you look at it like a parody... I was actually laughing a decent amount throughout this, so I had fun with it, but as a, as a movie, it's, it's fucking terrible. So, Slumber Party Massacre 2021, not good. There was one or two kills that looked alright, and that, that was basically it. Like, it was a real hard but fun watch. Like, I know if it was like any other mood where you throw it on randomly and try to watch it. If you're not in a good mood, to take it as just an extreme parody and stupid as all hell, no decision makes sense by any of these characters. They might as well just be labeled girl A, B, C, D. Also, they have no names. The like all, Everything that could be bad about a movie is in this movie, and it has all those problems. So, I don't know why we needed this remake. We didn't, So, but we got it. And if you want to laugh, check it out. Now that it's on Shutter, if you have Shutter or whatever it's streaming on. If not, just ignore this because it, it's nothing new at all. Like, and it's just completely laughable throughout the whole thing. So, Slumber Party Massacre 2021 remake. Garbage, terrible. Take care, guys.